Hey folks, welcome to Life on Beagle Road. Today we are dealing with Bumblefoot. We're gonna need some doctoring tools. We're gonna have to do some cleaning. We're gonna have to do some foot soaking. We're gonna have to do some antibiotics. Right, Bridget? Yeah, is this a bedpan? No. Is, is this a bedpan no. in a kid's vet kit? What is it? No. What is it? It's to put this stuff in it. Oh, when you pick it out? Oh, it's actually so when you pick something out, you put it in here. So I think we remove the bumble foot and put it in here. Right, Bridge? So what am I talking about? What am I ranting about? Or is it just heat-induced delirium? Well, it might be, because it was 100 today with 39% humidity. So that felt great. Super great. My actual point here is, last night I picked up our rooster, Jay-Z, and I noticed that his feet looked really swollen. And I thought, that's not good. It's not good to have swollen feet on chicken. And sure enough, I looked and He's got these black spots on the bottom of his feet, which are what's called bumblefoot. Essentially, it is um, when a chicken gets like a cut or a splinter or some sort of injury to their foot and it gets infected and they end up with an abscess. It happens particularly with very heavy birds because, you know, when they're jumping down or when they're flying up to roost, you know, they put a lot of pressure on their feet. And he's huge, like he's easily 11 pounds. I mean, he is absolutely massive. So Dr. Archer and I need to take care of this issue. Dr. Archer? I am no, I know I'm a little little. I, I am little because I'm five. You're little because you're five? Yeah, but, but you're wanted, a doctor too, right? I wanted to be a vet someday. I'm starting off with a pretend set. Bridget wants to be a vet, and she's very good with helping with the animals. Don't suck your finger. But not good with not sucking her finger, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, in addition to taking care of Jay-Z, we need to make sure that the coop is clean and fresh and that we've taken care of anything that he might hurt himself on and get things disinfected a bit. So... Let's go do that first, right, Bridgie? You're gonna keep an eye on Jay-Z? Yeah, doesn't wanna clean the chicken coop is what I just heard there. Mm-hmm, well, neither do I. What are you doing, Mama? Are you trying to sit on these eggs in here? <laughs> Well, here's an added kink in the situation. I think that I have a hen sitting on eggs in the litter tray. Because why not? Because why not have to move a broody hen and take care of Bumblefoot? Okay, good. Well, let's do it. Because that is life on Beagle Road right there. That is just the definition. We should change our channel trailer to exactly this. Turkey, you are so loud. So loud. What do we know about bacteria? Well, we know bacteria can spread, right? Like if one chicken has it, another one can get it. So we need to make sure that the coop is clean particularly the roost. I'm not gonna sanitize the whole coop. I'm just gonna clean it. I'm gonna put down uh, lime and some diatomaceous earth, but I'm not gonna like sanitize everything. However, I will sanitize the roost because of course that's where he's been putting I his feet. Yes, washing your hands while you're doing this is very important. Yep. I will sanitize the roost because of course he's been putting his feet on there and they're probably covered in bacteria. Right, Bridgie? Mm -hmm. Other chickens would hop on the roof and get that. Yes, exactly. You should also be careful with yourself. For example, I'm gonna go put gloves on because I have a couple cuts on my hands and I don't wanna risk getting the bacteria into me either because that is something that would happen to me. Yeah.
Fun fact, I did have four chickens once as a child, but we had to eat them because I wouldn't clean the coop. And right here is the reason why. Uh -uh. Nope, nope, nope. I'm gonna get a chicken and they're gonna eat that spider. I just realized if I don't get this done and get the roof sanitized like quick, I'm gonna end up with chickens all over the place because their normal roosting spot will be gone. So let's hurry up. All right, let's get this broody hen moved. I'm changing my gloves because I don't want to introduce any crazy bacteria to those eggs. Hopefully they've not already picked anything up, but we'll get those moved and we'll move the broody hen. Man, this is hard when your hands are sweaty. Seriously, look at this. This is how we're wearing gloves now. All right, she seems to have just sat down on those eggs just fine. Let's get back cleaned out here. It's hot. I'm sweating. But the coop's done. It's clean. It's put back together. Now I'm going to wait for everybody to go into roost because that will be the easiest time to pick him up. And everything I need to do, I need to do inside anyway. And plus the girls want to help. So, you know, chicken in the bathtub. I, you know, it's just, that's what we do here. Chicken in the bathtub. In the meantime, let's go water the garden. The first step in getting Jay-Z fixed up is I'm gonna make him a semi-warm bath uh, here in the tub with Epsom salts. I want to do it inside in the tub because it needs to be warm water. If I used the really cold hose water that comes right out of the well, it would constrict everything and it would make it harder to uh, get the infected stuff out. So we're going to run the bath and then we're going to go out and get him. Jay-Z is a really friendly rooster, but I have him wrapped up in a towel so that he's not flailing around in here. So let me see if I can show you his feet here. Girls, this is when I could use your help. We're just getting her gloves on. There you go, buddy. What's in there? Gunk. Oh, you're just trying to get it out? Mm-hmm. Here's what I'm trying to work out. And under here, there will probably be some gross stuff. Oh, this is some of the grossest stuff I've ever done. Yeah. That smell, is that coming from the foot? Yeah. Oh. It's foul. Oh my God, that's disgusting. Oh my God, that smells so bad. <laughs> Imagine how that feels. <laughs> oh, I can only imagine. What's in there now? Maybe Here, did you hear that? That was Money Penny. Oh. That was Money Penny farting, that's not the, the foot. That's even worse. Right on top of this, Money Penny. We don't need that. How much is still in there? I don't know, honey. He's starting to look angry. Well, I bet he does. All right, let's put some peroxide in there. Oh, God, he's going to freak out. Oh, wait, no, that's alcohol. Yeah. Why don't you dip it? Word. You all right, buddy? Huh? 
You okay? Do you see yourself in there? Is that why you're... He does. Do you see that? Oh my god. He, he sees himself. So Ugh, look at that. Yeah, I'm trying to bubble some more gunk out of there. Um, I'd probably lean it a little bit more. No. Like, where the cut was. Oh, I think I might use a syringe and like squirt it in. Alright. So he has a tuna foot? You said bumblebee tuna foot? Bumblebee tuna foot. You're... Don't you boop. Nope. I can hear it. Fizzing? Yeah. Is it cleaning it? Mm-hmm. It could have been a lot worse. Yeah. It was not, um, there was not a ton of pus in there. Um, but we do have to do the other leg. What? It's both of them. Both of them? Both feet. Where's the other one at? Wrapped up in that towel. Alright. So he you wasn't- do that? He wasn't getting you with the spurs. Yeah. Switch it up. <laughs> It's not to uh, catch it in the face. Doesn't take any of your majestic beard. I don't want him snapping off my beard. Mm -mm. Uh oh, those feathers are up. Oh man, is this one better or worse? Can't des can't decide. All right, we're gonna find out. Yeah, we are gonna find out. That had to have been like the worst ever smell. Watch this right. It. Oh, it's <laughs> this is it. Oh. Okay. Um, so we're just gonna clean it up a little bit and then try again tomorrow. Yeah, this side definitely has some tissue intermingled with that gunk, so I don't want to keep digging at it and making it worse. I'm gonna spray this with some antifungal and antibacterial stuff, and I'm gonna give him some penicillin orally. I thought it'd be interesting. There you go, buddy. All right, Jay Z, listen. Mama's gonna go out. She's gonna get some spray, and then she's gonna come right back in. So I want you to keep your cool and don't peck me. Got it? You want me to sing you a song? I don't really know any good songs. We could do row, row, row your boat. It's not really a fun song though. I got moves like Jagger. Woo, moves like Jagger. Okay, nope, we're not gonna sing that song. I'm really sorry I sang, I won't sing anymore. That's all done, no singing, you're right. Mama, thank God you're here. He's freaking out? Well, I tried to sing him a song and he wasn't having it. Well, he's seen your moves and he knows that's not true. Don't spray me like you did the last time. I was marking my territory. My whole arm was blue last time. <clears throat> All right. All right. All right. All right. Back to the coop there, big man. Got it? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's had it. You've been through worse, man. You fought off a family of raccoons and had a traumatic brain injury. Right? And this, survived. This ain't no thing. But a chicken wing? Well, I didn't want to say that. Well, I said it. All right, big guy. All right, off to the coop. Be gone. Hopefully I don't get my eye packed out on the way down. Oh my gosh, right? Good luck. Jay-Z is back in the coop. I was hoping you would take the night and just stay on a lower area with the nice fresh bedding. He, of course, was not having any of that and promptly got up on a roost. So, guess he's not that bad. I'll keep cleaning that second foot the next couple nights just squirting some peroxide in there making sure that we're bubbling all the the gunk out and he'll get penicillin for five days so we don't get any crazy infections in there and hopefully that will clear things up we'll keep you posted thanks for watching